Hello again. This is, uh, I think it's going to be number five of my juggling videos. It's the same day after number four, the uh, running down the road with three balls. Uh, oh, I don't know what's happening with this zoom now. Can you see my shirt? I don't know whether you're going to see me. I'm going to do my best. Right. So it's Wednesday. <clears throat> About one o'clock, I think. Don't know. The camera will tell. Well, I don't know. The camera's got the technology to, 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 to print the time, date, and whatever. But I rank it's Wednesday. Third of July, 2019. About half the Now, if I was a liar, Someone who could look at this video, if I frigged with a timeline or something, someone could look at this video and check, couldn't they? Because they know the altitude of the sun, the height of the sun, probably. Well, look, you can see the height of my shadow. You know that I'm six foot one. You know I've actually got one leg shorter than the other by 1.4 centimetres. The French medical system found that out. It was no no wonder I was no good at fucking football when I was a boy. Running around in fucking circles all the time. No wonder I walked funny. As Sharon used to say, I walked like a duck. So self-consciously I tried to improve the way I walk. When I concentrate. But anyway, clean shirt, clean shorts today, fed pigs, watered pigs, looked after my dog, done some important stuff to keep my word. I made some promises to certain people that I love and care about this today. And I keep my promises. How do you know? Trust me, just my word. You can tell a liar every time. In life, you need to be able to tell the difference between real and illusion. Is what I'm doing Can I really juggle? Well, did you see me run down the road with three? Do you think I can juggle? Can I juggle? Define the word juggle. What? Juggle how many? For how long? So the word juggling. Everyone can juggle. Everyone says, when I ask people, can you juggle? Yes, everybody can. Everybody can. But when it comes down to it, you can't really. They say they can. They think they can. But when it actually comes down to it, can you do what you say you can do? say 
I, yesterday, I think I'm number three. I, I'm not an expert in anything, but I am. Yeah. An ex is a has been and a, 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 a drip, a, a, a spur to the drip under pressure. My brother told me that. To you, my dear brother. I love him. I love him. I'm not sure how it feels about me. I'm not sure how it will feel about being mentioned on a YouTube video. But hey ho, he's my brother. I, I've got nothing to be ashamed of. We're from the same father. Derek Charles Turner. I think he was born in 1926. And he was a simple soul. his English exam because he found a, an unnecessary requirement to use ginormously humongous words bigger than absolutely necessary entirely superfluous to what he was trying to say because he thought by using these massive words and complicating his speech it made him feel, or made him seem, uh, an intellectual. But he was not an intellectual. He was not an intellectual in any way, my dad. He was a simple man. A simple soul, you could say. My dad was honest and hard working through and through solid gold to the core and trust you could trust my dad you could trust him with you could give him a million pounds you could give him a billion pounds and say Derek keep that safe for me and keep the interest and pay yourself ten pound a, a month to do it and he would have done it for you you can bet that he would have used all of his skill and all of his uh, tenacity to make sure your money was put in a safe place and he wouldn't spend a penny of it. Not if he was down to with the bones of his ass would he, would he, would my father have stolen a thing, a farthing. My father was a trustworthy man. In terms of fiscal responsibility in terms of work ethic. And I love him for that. I love him for that. My mum didn't lie. She hated liars. She wouldn't have liars in the house. When I find out which one of you children is lying to me, there's going to be hell to pay. My mother instilled in me, you do not tell lies. You do not tell lies. But of course we were kids, so you did. I did. Yeah, I told lies, I did stuff and told lies to get out of it, big lies. That got Ian and Jane potentially in trouble because I, I, I was good at it. I could lie to my mum. I lied to my mum to save myself the punishment of them. Yeah, and now she's dead, and I've never confessed this. <laughs> good grief, I've never confessed this before. Yeah. 
Well, I'm confessing it now. I scratched and my name, Andrew, into the bottom of the telly. I don't know whether Ian and Jane can remember that, but there was hell, there was hell on. Obviously, I was the first accused because it was Andrew, but I said I didn't do it. <laughs> that was barefaced lie. I, I, I think I'd certainly done it. I was bored and I just scratched my name on this nice, shiny, smooth, varnished surface. Well, because even at that age, I could lie to my mum, and escape punishment, then Ian and Jane became under the spotlight. My mum trusted me, and I lied. And I got my brother and my sister, <laughs> they suffered interrogation over that. I think we all did, all three of us. I think we were bread and water for days. Not, not days, no. no. We were certainly sent to his room until someone owned up, and no one did, because Ian and Jane hadn't done it. But the implication was that Jane had liked her, an older brother, an old brother, or Ian, who would probably, the implication there would have been that he was trying to get his younger brother in trouble. Not above that. No, no, y yes you are, you are a good man, you wouldn't have done that, no, you wouldn't have done that to me. No. I Ian's never done anything quite like that, as bad as that. No, no. But you've done some shit, Ian, in your life, to me, and to Jane. Jane got a bit stroppy with me at one point as well. And, uh, you and Jane don't talk to each other for fuck's sake. From the same mother and father, you don't talk to each other. What is that about? So I'm here in my clean shirt today. It's washed. It's silk. It doesn't have a name on it. Uh, I bought it in Thailand from Taylor. Do you know I've got a degree in stating that <laughs> I've got a master's degree in stating the bleeding obvious. Yeah. And prevaricating going on. Taylor. Why I like this shirt, I like the contrast of the white and the black. I like the way the pattern, the, 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 the random squares, well they're not random, but I like the patterns, the little, the little black, the little squares make little black arrows, pointers, just from square, it's kind of like a map, it's kind of like Islamic art, isn't it? Islamic art has got lots and lots of repeating patterns that are kind of all pointing in the same direction. Well, these all point up here, they all point round there, so, and, and it's a bit disruptive, so it hides, it hides flab, if it's loose enough. And then, if I pump my chest up a bit and pull my shoulders back, I can do a reasonable impression of a fucking tough guy. I could swagger a bit, you know? Or I could, you know. But to someone who knows, I don't wear a label. I don't have... I wear these shirts with a bit of nipple there poking through from the peck that I pumped. Because whose is this shirt? Who made it? 
well it's made of silk. Silkworms made this shirt. And then somebody else has come along and woven it and harvested it and purified it and cleaned it, woven it, and then they yeah, they printed this pattern on it. It's not woven in, this this black white. It's not woven in, it's printed on. So it's 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 nice material, but yeah, it could have you could have woven the silk, couldn't you, to make it really nice. But how much work would that be to weave that weave silk, dye silk, then weave it into that pattern? Could you do it? I don't know. I don't know whether you could whether, whether somebody could do it. You'd, you'd probably have to do it by hand, and it would take a long, long time. But the end product, the people who look and know that silk and know that's woven and they know instantly how much work has gone into that, that thing. So how much work has gone into this? Well, quite a bit of, of cheap labour, you know. Not, shall we not mention the silkworms? Yeah, let's mention the silkworms. Let's do that. Let's give them the credit for making the silk. So that kings and queens and royalty can wear silk and have that beautiful silk feel of a natural fibre against their body, against their skin. It's a natural fibre, it doesn't irritate the skin because God put it on this earth, silk. Did. And he put you on this earth. Yes, he did. And you and the stuff that God put around you is going to be good. The problem comes when you can't decide whether God put something there or someone else did someone pretending, someone deceiving you, a master deceiver. Those people are all around in the world, people who learn to lie, continue to lie, continue to deceive, because they can get good at it. certain people in the world who can spot a liar from body language. CIA agents, police interrogators, just, just the tone of your voice, just the how you control your voice. But if you practice, if you practice controlling the pitch of your, your voice, lowering it, your voice, you can tighten your chest and raise your voice, and you can try and talk like a girl if you want, yes you could, oh you could sound ever so sexy, really. you could do that, you could be deceived.
truth is, this life that we live is hard, it's difficult, it's full of obstacles and struggles. It's not easy, it was never ever meant to be easy. If it's easy, you're not living, you ain't doing it right. You are not alive if your life is easy. can take it easy because there are times when everybody needs a rest but you can't rest for the rest of your life you can't do it you mustn't do it you never retire from life you get older and you get wiser it's time to think more peace and quiet when the kids are grown up and gone as you become older and you have time to reflect on your life, things click into place. Why things happen click into place for you. You understand yourself and why your beginnings and you're contemplating your end. Those old people are full of wisdom. They know secrets that they need and want to pass on. But it's a secret, this. And the secret is play by the rules. fear. Have no fear. Now that's difficult. That's a hard one that is. You've got to grow up with fear. You've got to. God gives you a whole plethora of fears. He's got the full Pandora's box of fears. And he has got fears tailored especially your worst nightmares. Of course, one of my terrors growing up was needles. This sharp, shiny, pointy thing invading my body. Oh, I'm being entered by a foreign object. Imagine how a, a young girl being raped feels, you cunts. Imagine how a young child being anally raped by you cunts. How does that feel for them, you wankers? You know who you are, but you shrink away from me, you come. Because if I get my fucking hands on you, you're going to know fear. Are you a child molesting fucking paedophile? get emotional about those, those sort of things. Those cowards. Controlled by their sexual urges, that urge that's put in all of us. By God. To 
be treated with respect, to treat others with respect. Goodness me, did, did nobody ever tell you people that? Did you not have mothers? I suppose you had mothers and fathers who abused you, didn't, didn't they? So is it your fault? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Don't go raping. Don't be doing it. Control your dick, young man. Don't be putting it where you shouldn't be putting it. Not out of lust, which is all around everywhere. Date rape, date drugs, get her pissed, all of that shit. Not on, is it? Not fair. So grow up with that sort of shit, you lot. Yeah, patterns. Islamic. Do you know, a, a Muslim told me, look, to be a Muslim, you believe there's one God, I believe there's one God, you Christian people, you confuse the issue. There's not three, there's one. Jesus was no more a son of God than I am. He didn't call himself the son of God, he called himself the son of man. Because we all are sons of men. You, me, him, everybody. Son of men. Son of man. That's what he, that's what he said. If you read what Jesus said, he got it sorted, hadn't he? He got it, he got it worked out. He might have had a conversation with God. I'm sure he did. Well, we know about some of them, don't we? Spare me from this. Why have thou forsaken me, Father? Don't put me through this. Put it on yourself, though. Say that. He upset a lot of people. He upset the money changers in the temple. They were on a nice little learner. They were. It offended him, money. Money offended Jesus. And uh, he upset the local populace at the time. Who were, like I say, on a nice little learner. Uh, it didn't upset the Romans much, really. That's suppose. It upset King Herod. I don't know the whole bit. I'm not going to say it. I know you want the Roman. The king of, uh, no. Jesus spoke Aramathaic, I think. And I, I'm pretty sure that the written form of that language does not have punctuation. I'm pretty sure. Arabic, 